what needs to be done is it needs to be bipartisan. These people need to put their differences aside or whatever else, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's like a football team, all right? You're going to go play the Super Bowl. Is one guy going to win it for you? No, it's a team effort, right? I'm trying to put this in layman's terms so everybody understands where I'm coming from. So if we take it as a team effort and everybody gets on board and we all sit back and say, you know what? The American people have suffered enough. Where can we cut money from? Which I can already tell you where I'd start. And it starts with a U. Where can we cut money from? What kind of programs can we start rolling out to try to make a difference in our economy, to try to bring jobs back to this country? Wait, what I say? Bring jobs back to this country? Oh my God. I'm sorry, I, I messed up there. We're, we're not allowed to do that anymore. You know, um, Biden just shut down that, what, 225,000 acres out there in Minnesota. And that's all part of his uh, Green New Deal, you know, but we shut it down. So now they're not mining for the copper and all the different minerals that they need to make all these batteries, windmills, and solar panels, and all this kind of stuff that we want for our, quote, Green, green New Deal. You know, it's costing us billions and billions and trillions of dollars here. We're going to import all that stuff. We don't need to do it ourselves. What was I thinking? See what I'm saying, folks? Now we're going to import more. We're already importing, in case you didn't know, $2.8 trillion worth of goods and services per year. We are the largest importer of anything because we don't make it here. Maybe if we started making a lot of these different types of goods and stuff for all this, quote, Green New Deal, and we started making it manufacturing all right here in this country. Wow, let's see here. We're going to generate jobs. We're going to generate income. You're going to generate taxes because, you know, they get their cut right off the top before we even get to touch the paycheck or the money. And it helps out everybody. People could have good jobs. People could have health care. People could make a decent living. But we don't want that. Let's just shut it all down. Yep, 225,000 acres. 88% of the world's copper and all these different types of minerals and things that are, that are out there in Minnesota. Yep, we just close it down. Why? Does anybody ask why anymore? These people do whatever they want. They get away with whatever they want to do. And nobody is really sitting back saying, why? Why are you doing this? You would think his own party would be like, wait a minute. We need all that kind of stuff to do what we want to do. Are you kidding me? You see, they're making these hard times ahead even harder for a lot of us. Some of the things that are out there that's going on with this country is just ridiculous. It could be stopped. You know, I mean, when you really sit back and you think about what you and your family are going to have to go through, in the next 12 months, are you prepared? Do you have a plan? What happens if you are one of these people that lose your job? Look at all these companies that are already laying off people. Certain companies are closing stores by the hundreds. They're dropping like flies. Where are you going to work now? Maybe you live in a small town. Maybe that was the only place that you had that you could really work to make a decent living. What do you do? 
you can't really afford to move because you have to have first. <laughs> a lot of places now is first, last, and security. So that's three months. Let's say it's two grand for you to move into the place. That's six thousand dollars. Think about this. Then you have all these different companies. Now, you just had Walmart. They raised their supposedly quote minimum wage starting wage to seventeen fifty an hour, and I bet that killed them. These multi-billion-dollar companies, they don't like reaching into their pocketbook because it's taking money away from them. You know, I mean, they want to make sure that they're, you know, we have the most. We don't care about the little guy. It's all about what we have in the bank. What's in our back pocket? Really, it's about the, you know, it's about the dollar bill. They don't care. What do they care about? They don't care about you or me or anybody else. We're just a number. That's all we are anymore. The days of those employers really sitting back and taking a hard look at what is really going on is just incredible. Now, what I really would like to know is how many of these huge companies and the CEOs and all the top executives that they have to have, then all those top executives have to have the top secretaries. And then those secretaries have to have other secretaries because they can't do all the work that all these people want. So you have this whole conglomerate of people that are probably all making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. Now, the CEOs they pay themselves, they give themselves stock, they get astronomical amount of vacation time, they make a couple of appearances a year, probably in front of a television camera, make themselves look good, feed us some type of a little bullshit story about what they're going to be doing for their employees or what they're going to be doing to try to save the economy or generate jobs and everything else when in the end it's always just the opposite